Welcome back to Film Buff Bros. And in this episode, we're going to talk about our favorite 2000s crime movies. <laughs> <laughs> this has absolutely nothing to do with true crime, but it's uh, John Daly head cover, and I'm wearing a John Daly t-shirt, so that's what sir, that is all sir. about. Uh, all right, so I'm going with uh, Catch Me If You Can. I know it's not a murder movie, which true crime, that's kind of true crime usually falls into that genre, but... It's, it's a true crime. Obviously, there's some embellishment. Um, but I found all the performances believable. Um, Leo's character is very uh, sim sympathizable, uh, despite his duplicity and ill-gotten gains. Um, you, you, you pity him, you know, because he's, uh, he's trying to fill an empty void of, you know, his family breaking up. Um, very well-suited score, which is suspenseful and playful at times. Uh, and a little lamentful at times too. Top tier camera movement and lighting. Spielberg, yeah, yeah, love it. One thing I really remember about that is the pacing was really good because you know he's being chased and the pacing is so quick it, it really matches up well that you have to keep that momentum going in a chase sort of movie. Um, so for true crime for me, two thousands, I was thinking uh, I like From Hell, I like Black Dahlia, but I'm going with Ted Bundy. It's a small independent film. Um, the cuts and transitions are really clever. The cutting of um, new uh, news footage, the real stuff. Um, it's all really from the uh, criminal's point of view, which I kind of like. Um, paced well, edited well. The score is great. The music's great. Um, they blend really well, the music and the score together. The actor, I think we talked about the other day, like for uh, a small independent actor, this guy's like really carries the movie really well. Really creepy guy. Um, directing is super unrelenting, it's brutal, it's shocking, it's unapologetic. Um, you can tell the director was really wanting to shock the audience um, and get them to realize how of a, much of a crazy person t uh, Ted Bundy was. And for a small budget, it feels like a bigger movie. Like It just seems like there was just a lot of care taken into this movie. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend that. It's, it's a sort of a hidden gem because it's small, not a, a lot of people maybe know about it. But I think it's the best crime movie of the 2000s. True crime movie. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cool, that's our episode for this week. Tune in next week for another episode. And click down below to subscribe. And then click the notification icon so you can be notified of all of our upcoming content. And please leave a comment below and let us know what movies you'd like to see us review. Thanks, guys. <laughs>